Hi everybody, um, Jay Edward Neal, and this is episode five of Let's Talk Art. Hopefully you guys aren't getting sick of these just yet. It's a gorgeous autumn day today, and I thought I would take some time this afternoon to talk about two huge paintings, because if you guys follow my work, you know I like the big paintings. I put them out all the time. And then talk a little bit about a question somebody asked me on YouTube about my preparation and process of making a new art piece. So let's start by talking about this monstrous painting. This thing is two feet by four feet. Uh, it's about three months old. Um, it's called Serenity of Shadow. And if you look close, you see it's got seven moon phases going on, all the way from crescent new to full, all the way back to crescent and new. And of course, my trademark big tree in the background. Uh, why did I paint this piece? Well, I love painting the moon and trees, obviously, and I do that a lot. But for this one, I kind of wanted to imagine, what if we were able to see the moon in all its phases all at the same time? Wouldn't that be cool? And what if there were a tree that instead of liking the sun, went after the moonlight? And that's how it grew. Um, so that, that was my process. Uh, if you look down here, there's like some little magical totems. And this one was a lot of fun. I had a lot of enjoyment involved in this one. It took me about a week to get the textures just right. I had to do the background three times. Three big juicy times. So Serenity of Shadow. This one was a lot of fun. Let's talk about another big painting. Not quite as big as Serenity of Shadow, but still pretty hefty. Tall and lean, this one. This is Moon Mastery. And uh, yes, that is supposed to be a moon, even if it kind of just looks like a, a sphere or something. Um, so the thing with this one is lately I've been doing some trees that aren't leafless. <laughs> a, a lot of my work for the last couple of years has been trees that have no leaves in the branches. Not necessarily dead, but just I really like, I get satisfaction out of painting just the tree branches. Well, lately I've decided to add some leafage, some foliage, some life to it. So this is one of those pieces. I think this is the fifth time I did like actual leaves and the first time I used red. So why did I paint this one? What was the idea behind Moon Mastery? Well, this one, contrary to the nice soft blue Serenity of Shadow was, what if the moon was captured and brought down to earth and like put on a pedestal for worship but stripped out of the sky? And the trees surrounded it so it could never escape again. Um, it's a pretty simple concept. But the, the execution of this one was pretty difficult. The background, red is really a challenge. Blues are a little bit easier than red to get the blending. But with red, you got to be careful. Because you don't want it to come out looking pink. <laughs> so if you add too little red or too much white, it looks pink. And I'm not really a pink guy. It wouldn't have uh, conveyed the intensity that I intended for this piece. So Moon Mastery, Captured Moon, Serenity of Shadow, all the moon phases. Both of these are originals. They are available at my shop, Etsy, Shadow Art Finds. Now, the second part of today's video, I'd like to talk about a question that somebody asked me on YouTube, on one of the other videos, and they asked a really good question. They asked me, when I'm preparing to start a new painting, what is my actual process there? So that's a good question. And it struck me as really relevant because I almost always have the same process. Um, I used to joke online about lubricating myself with scotch before, or you know, whiskey before every painting. There was some truth to that, but I don't really do that anymore because you know, I'm snooty and scotch is expensive. So now to get lubricated, to get ready to start a new painting. It almost always starts with music. Um, I really like soundtracks and music without vocals. For me, that does it. I know a lot of artists like a different flavor of music, but for me, I like melancholic cello music or Hans Zimmer soundtracks. Nothing with vocals, more strings or uh, acoustic guitars that kind of thing. I'll put that on in the background 
and I'll have that on for a good solid hour or two before I even start putting brush to canvas. It really gets me in a mellow mood and relaxed, which is actually very important to be relaxed and stress-free when you start a new painting, for me anyway. Okay, so I've decided on what I'm gonna paint. I've got a canvas picked out. I'm, I'm ready musically, I'm all relaxed and everything. What then do I do? Well, I take all the colors that I know I'm gonna use in that painting, all the way from light to dark, and I arrange them in my painting area. And uh, my painting area moves all over the house. I don't pick one spot and stay there. I have three or four different areas. So whatever the chosen area is that day, I'll spread the colors out in order of light to dark. I will get my brushes and I will pre-select them. Uh, it almost always starts with, some of you may have seen the photograph where I talked about the 12th, 1200th anniversary of uh, one of my brushes. Yes, it's true, it's brushed now 1,213 paintings that it's touched. Um, I almost start, always start with that one, but then I'll pick out three or four other different brushes long before I even get to the point where I'm gonna use them and set them aside. So the stage is sort of set for me to get started. Uh, turn the lights up, turn the music down, uh, and I make sure my canvas is nice and prepped. And that's when I actually usually get to work is it's so important to be prepared for me some artists can go in and they're just so fantastically good that they can just do it under any circumstance um, they'll go to shows and do live paintings and stuff like that that's not me i need a, a a mood i need the stage to be set so that's usually what i do music colors brushes relaxation and then sometimes I'll even do like a miniature meditation before I really get into the hard work of painting. So that's my process of preparing for a painting. Um, for next week, episode six, I would like to uh, field another question because I feel you guys have some really good insight as to what you want to hear about, what you want to know. So if you find me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and if you just want to post a question that you might have about my art or just art in general and uh it can be about anything i really don't care I'll, just, I'll choose the most interesting one and i'll discuss it in episode six episode six should be out next week all right guys thanks for stopping by again thank you for watching um i'm j edward neal again my website etsy shadow art finds if you want to see a gallery of all my works that have sold in the past uh, you can go to a website called Tessera Guild. That's T E S S E R A Guild.com. And I have a gallery of hundreds of paintings far and beyond uh, all my other sites. So check that out if you want. And uh, you guys enjoy this autumn because it's a beautiful one so far. Thanks. And I'll see you next week.